check it, check, 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 check. <laughs> Well, good morning, guys. Tell you what, I am I'm slammed. My muscles, my mainly my uh, biceps, triceps, and shoulders are so sore, and you know it, it, it's it's uh, definitely clear that I need a rest day. Um, maybe even two. I'm not sure. So this morning, I'm still going to do a workout, but I'm not touching weights. I'm going to jump on the bike. We're going to take not even push ourselves hard. We're going to take a uh, a let's say gentle pace so we keep some cardio up i'm gonna still put up a sweat we're gonna climb some hills but um i'm not um i'm not picking up those weights this morning today. i will i will also show you the software zwift right zwift is the basically my computer training partner it is a virtual cycling world which is built for cyclists and effectively you get your bike you throw it on a smart trainer which tracks the amount of power you generate in watts measured in watts it tracks the cadence so how many revolutions per minute and it basically simulates when you are going uphill or downhill it adds resistance or reduces resistance so it's giving you a simulated ride in this virtual world Anytime I log on, there's about 400 people uh, all on there. If you want to get uh, a smart trainer, I'm uh, using a TAC X, T A C X, I don't know how to say that, TAX, I guess, um, Vortex Smart Trainer, right? And I picked this up for around about 300 US dollars delivered. So it's not. It's not cheap, but it's not crazy expensive. When you when you look at also some of the um, fixed bike setups the um, that you've got in your gyms, they don't have the function I do this. They're not like riding on your bike, and um, and they cost a lot more. So I think this is a pretty good deal when you've already got a bike and you can throw a bike on this system and um, do a workout in a virtual world. Zwift does have a subscription cost. It's about 10 US dollars per month, which is quite I'm going to get into it. I'm going to record this using the screen grab uh, software, so we'll change cameras now. And yeah, uh, join me on this ride. Hey guys, this is the platform. So what you can see is Zwift has its own menu. Um, you can see there's a whole pile of riders already here, so I can join and ride with someone else. There's a heap of other workouts, so I can say I've got you know a certain time to burn, I want to I want to get into some kind of custom workout, or I can create my own. Well for me, I like to just ride. Now there's lots of different routes. Volcano circuit, etc. etc. I just want something fairly flat. I'm gonna take a 12 kilometer flat and I'm just gonna pedal, right? And today I probably won't hit the 12Ks, I'm very sore, I'm just gonna do a, about a 20 or 30 minute ride just to uh, keep my exercise going. So let's hit ride here and let's jump on a bike. Okay, so we're on the bike now, and you can see there's lots of data, there's people zooming past us, and um, yeah, basically, we're gonna go through a bit of a ride. And you can see when I'm, when I'm cycling, straight away my guy's taking off, and top of the tank, I wonder if the watts, you can see I'm generating 45 watts, which is really low. Uh, compared to some of these other crazy bikes. In the middle I've got the fact that I'm running 30 kilometers an hour and I've got how many kilometers I have and how many, how many minutes that I've done. You can see in the top right that I'm currently on a 2% de decline and the arrow is showing which way we're cycling. Down the right hand side you can see that I'm 
Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of that list, and you can see who's front in front of you or who's behind you, and those positions are changing. So we're overtaking some people who have stopped here, and we're just going for a bit of a ride. This is nice. My arms are very, very sore, so this is kind of a good, gentle way to keep my cardio going. Make sure that I do a daily workout, but I'm, I'm giving my arms some rest on them, which is really good. Right, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to probably put this in time lapse from here on and um, definitely if you've got any questions on Swift, hit me up on the comments, um, love to talk to you about it, it's a great piece of software, I really recommend it as a training aid and it gives you some inspiration to get in there and, and really, uh, really go for a ride and have some fun, so great guys. I'm getting into it. Okay guys, awesome ride, quick 20 minute sprint, well, sprint for other people, but I guess a, uh, a low belong for me. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is even when you're sore, there's some things you can do, and I know my plans have been destroyed, but I'm not giving up on my slam no matter what. So effectively, in my heart, I gotta work out every day, I've gotta keep moving towards these fitness goals, but I need to let my muscles rest. So I think doing a bit of light cardio, you could go for a jog or you could even go for a swim, doing some laps in the pool. But I think swimming, um, swimming would be the hardest because you're using those arms. Whereas with a bike, I can kind of hold on or I can let my arms go loose for a while and just free pedal. So Zwift, awesome piece of software, really great to be able to have a ride and simulated ride at home early in the morning. It's perfect. Have a good day guys, I'll be checking in later. Keep slamming. So all the B boys, B girls in the